Hello stars, my name is Blue and today I'm going to give you an informational video about how to make GIFs on Photopea and then merge that GIF with a still image per request. Now, I already have all of the layers, all of the images that I want to use on my GIF. Or GIF, however you pronounce it. I don't care, let's not get into this debate. But, in order to load up an image, all you have to do is go to File, Open, and choose your image. Now, all you have to do is go to each file, press Duplicate Into, and go to your first file, and press OK. So now, we have both images. So I'm going to exit out of that and we're going to do this real quick. Alright, now we have all of our images in one place. So, what's very important to making a GIF, or GIF, I'm just going to say GIF for the rest of this if I don't switch back and forth. I'll probably end up switching back and forth. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> What's very important in making a gift on Photopea is that you rename your layers. This is very important. Not only that, but it has to be in a file. So go to layer, press new, folder, double click, change it to whatever you want. We're gonna name it boy because that's the name of the first layer. Change your layer names. It is not going to save as a GIF despite the fact that you press export as GIF unless you name your layers exact. So you're going to double click. The exact thing you need is underscore a underscore. It doesn't matter what comes after that. I'm going to name my layers the shorthand for frame because they're frames but you can name them whatever you want but you have to have underscore a underscore always it will not save as a gif so frame this is for now you don't have to do anything else other than that <clears throat> the default for changing the images is 50 milliseconds However, if you'd like to change that, all you have to do is comma, and however milliseconds you want each frame to go for. My, the animated sprite that I have on my outro is at 200 milliseconds. So I'm going to go 200 milliseconds. And that's going to change the speed of how long each frame is shown. So now we're just going to name the rest of the layers. Okay. All of the layers are named and you have dash underscore a underscore in front of your layer names. And you have ch changed the time for each frame of the show as you want it to be. Now you're going to go to file export as GIF. And if it's not moving like this in the preview, then you've done something wrong. But I'm sure that you did it and everything's working fine. So we can go on and save. Yeah, save. So now we have our GIF. You can save your GIF separately and just have it as a separate GIF. You can even draw in here and draw your own GIFs. Whatever you want to do. The world is your oyster. That is a weird saying. But you want to put a background to your GIF. So you're going to open up a new picture that you want to be the background. We'll go with 
Well, we'll go with this. We'll go with one of my unedited thumbnails. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go to your gift. You're gonna click on the first. You're gonna click on the top frame. And you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom frame. You're gonna press shift and click on it. And then you're gonna right click and press duplicate into. And whatever your still image name is. Make sure all of the frames are highlighted, otherwise this will not work. Press OK. There. So you can move it about as you want. Make sure you have transform controls checked. And if you want to keep the ratio you have, press shift as you move it around. And now you're going to go to File, Export as GIF. And then you're going to save it! Yeah. And now you know how to make a GIF from Photopea and how to add it to a still image. I hope this helped you and I'll see you for our next video.